Well, another day. Let's go to over here, do here. Okay, press play. To burn for that. I couldn't help but feel a surge of relief that we had escaped without injuries, that we had narrowly avoided being crushed under the weight of the falling rubble. We stood there, gasping for breath, the adrenaline still yeah, coursing brother. through our veins. The acrid smell of dust and burning remnants filled our nostrils, a sharp contrast to the sterile environment we had left behind. <clears throat> Sweat trickled down my forehead, mingling with the grime and dirt that coated my skin. The taste of victory mingled with the tang of fear in my mouth, an intoxicating blend that both invigorated and unnerved me. Way to go, Celeste. Remind me never to cross you again. She grinned. Hmm. Yes, boss. Immediately, the dust from the explosive cleared. Celeste and the team climbed through the open concrete one by one. Adrenaline coursed through my veins, propelling me forward as we pulled our comrades and the scientists with their equipment. The air was thick with tension, and the weight of our mission pressed heavily upon us. It was time, and I felt so nervous. The fate of humanity. We stood together, contemplating our next move, our gazes fixed on the hunk of otherworldly metal hanging ominously above us, the underside of the mothership. Whispers filled the air as we strategized, the sound barely audible against the backdrop of destruction. I could feel the weight of the world on my shoulders, a heavy burden that threatened to overwhelm me. Each breath I took was accompanied by a sharp pang of fear and determination. There was no turning back now. The fate of humanity hung in the balance. Operation Humanity is a go. As we deliberated, a sudden shrill beeping pierced through the silence. My heart mm. skipped a beat, and panic surged through me like an electric shock. Time seemed to slow as my eyes darted around, searching for the source of the beeping grew louder, drowning out all other sounds, a cacophony of danger echoing in my ears, grime that covered my face. My hands trembled, and my fingers clenched into tight fists, my body ready to spring into action at a moment's notice. With a deafening crash, a chunk of the metal broke free, hurtling towards us like a lethal projectile. Time snapped back into motion, and I reacted on pure instinct. I dived to the ground, rolling away just in time to avoid the deadly projectile. The impact shook the ground beneath me, and debris rained down, filling the air with a symphony of crashing and clanging. As the dust settled, my heart pounded in my chest, a rapid mm. drumbeat of survival. I struggled to my feet, my muscles protesting against the exertion, but there was no time to rest. Through the haze, I saw them. The Nebulax robots, emerging from the shadows. Their metallic forms gleaming with a malevolent glow. Adrenaline surged through me once more, overriding my exhaustion. I barked out commands, my voice strong, even as fear gnawed at the edges of my consciousness. The team rallied around me. That- Three, two, one. Three, two, one, three. Two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, three, two, one, action. Eyes mirroring my resolve. We stood together, ready to face them. All except for the scientists. They stood within our circle tinkering with their machine. I just hoped that they would be done faster. The air hummed with the sound of machinery, the mechanical footsteps of the Nebulax robots growing louder with each passing second. My heart pounded in my ears, drowning out all other sounds. My fear twisted in my gut, threatening to consume me, but I pushed it aside, focusing on the task at hand. In that moment, time seemed to slow once more. 
The world narrowed down to the imminent clash between humanity and the otherworldly threat. With a surge of adrenaline and unwavering determination, I raised my weapon, ready to fight for our survival. The battle had just begun, and for some reason I'm smack dab right in the middle. The Nebulax robots rushed towards me faster than I could blink. Then Tanner stepped in with his gun, keeping them back. He turned to me, a small smile on his face. No such thing as aliens, eh, boss? I chuckled, and so did he. He nodded to me. You do what you need to do. I nodded back. In the chaos of the fight, I managed to sneak Jerry into the mothership. The air was thick, with the acrid stench of burning metal, and the distant echoes of explosions reverberating through the hall. My heart pounded in my chest, as adrenaline coursed through my veins, fueling my determination to complete our mission. As we entered the dimly lit party. It's Movie Frenzy Week. Buy or rent the latest and greatest movies. With fantastic offers for one week only. Available now. Buy or rent and watch instant. <laughs> Bartle, I turned to Jerry. Urgency etched in every single line across my face. We need to sweep the entire area for the key to the robots. I urged him. My voice barely audible over the clanging of metal and distant shouts of the enemy soldiers. The controls! Jerry nodded, his eyes filled with the strength that matched my own. We moved swiftly, cautiously. Our senses heightened. This is a high-stakes operation, the highest I have ever gone. Humanity lost the day the Nebulax came. I would make sure we win today. Every footstep echoed loudly in the metallic confines, making my heart skip a beat with every sound. We searched every nook and cranny, peering into rooms cluttered with alien technology, but found no sign of the controls. Frustration gnawed at me, mingling with the adrenaline that still surged through my veins. Sweat trickled down my forehead, mixing with the dirt and grime on my face. Finally, we reached the control hub, a room pulsating with colored lights and the hum of machinery. Jerry's eyes widened as he surveyed the array of screens and buttons, a hint of fascination glimmering in his gaze. I know you're in love with the place, Jerry, but it needs to go. Destroy it, I commanded, my voice strained with the weight of our mission. We can't risk them regaining control of the robots. Jerry hesitated, his fingers hovering over the controls. But Claire... He began, his voice filled with uncertainty. This computer could come in handy one day. Think of the information we could gather from it. Anger surged within me, battling with the exhaustion and fear that threatened to overwhelm me. I clenched my fists, my nails digging into my will This is not the time to sentimentality, Jerry. I snapped. She then. 